everyone. My name is Zoya Kelly. I'm 14 years old. And before I start, I have to admit that I'm really stressed. So if I start discussing of a subject and you then hear me speak of fish, don't mind me. So jokes aside, I'm here to talk about overthinking of the criticality when expressing your views on a subject, even if you taste the music. What has inspired me to talk about this is a person of mine, but also a quote. According to overthinking is the biggest cause of unhappiness. Can't imagine how many people are suffering because of the they daily receive. My experience on this subject changed my life, but mostly the way I think. Uh, I started receiving everything started one year ago when I got into this type of music called K-pop. I'm sure most of you don't even know what it is. K-pop is basically pop, but from Korea. You have to know that I'm the type of person who likes to be different, so you can understand how thrilled I was to be into a different kind of music. Uh, after K-pop, I started receiving rough judgment because of my music. At that time, I felt ashamed of myself being different and didn't know what to do. So I hid it from everyone. I even stopped answering to questions like, what type of music are you into? Or are you still listening to those Asian people? I was thinking of the reactions and the judgment I would get back. It was a tough year for me as I stopped listening to that kind of music but also because people's judgment had made it hard to talk to others and be part of a conversation. I stopped talking to my friends for a while and wanted to stay at home all day. I have to admit here that staying alone wasn't that bad. It actually helped me learn more about myself and think. I felt free and started to enjoy staying alone. But that's what I thought at first. It's really sad to accept now that I was forced to start enjoying staying alone in order to avoid the rough judgments. Of course, I can't deny that it helped me learn more about myself. You might tell me now that by staying alone everything was solved, so no problem. Well, no. By staying alone, I learned that hiding my interest in music wouldn't make any difference. I have a difficulty opening up to others, and it's easy for me to be part of a conversation. But the fact that I'm standing here, right now, talking about my interest in music and my experience is something big for me. If you had asked me a year back to stand here and talk about my interest in music, there is a high chance I would have packed up my things and moved to another country. I have been through a but you know what they say, everything happens for a reason, and I do believe that. You know what? I've actually thought of changing myself several times, because I'm still a bit afraid. At least now I know I have some great friends who will support me. Closing this up, I'd like to tell you that if you're overthinking of the judgment you may receive when expressing your views, or because you're different. Don't be afraid to be yourselves. Never change because of someone's opinion. Last but not least, because you tend to judge others' imperfections, I think it should be wiser to start focusing on the bright side of others, because you never know what someone's really going through. I am Zoya Gelli, and I'm fine. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.